The rapacious rover is always swimming, searching for anything to satisfy the gluttony that is their defining trait. This shark should consider returning to the water.
The grotto provides a brief respite from the Sturm und Drang of the Gulf. These scavengers of the sea are vital in cleaning the ocean floors of edible and semi-edible detritus. Anyone who has delved into the stomach contents of a shark is acutely aware that they'll eat just about anything.
A quiet space is the ideal stage for the shark to meditate and harness her pure potentiality. But the bull shark is custom made towards survival. The predatory scavenger is often quite content to dine on whatever wastes fall to the ocean floor.
in spite of their reputations as wrestlers, alligators haven't mastered the nuances of scientific holds like the figure four. The gluttonous grouper eats fish, octopi, and crustaceans.
The sea wolf has detected vibrations in the water and is searching for their source. The bull retreats to the grotto for refuge and quiet reflection. To Malaysia, sea turtles live all over the world, but only the trashy ones live in Daytona.
Uh, the bull shark can at least take solace in the fact that it's chewy and tastes relatively bland. For human hunters and animal predators alike, the bayou is revered for its wildness and generosity. If a group of consenting adults wants to perform cryptic rites to shadow forth the prophecy of the great old ones, huh, who am I to judge?
in the kill or be killed world of the sea, performance enhancing mutagens provide benefits that could mean the difference between life and death. Sometimes even sharks just need to dirty bulk. Remember, if you find yourself hard aground, the best thing to do is stay with your canoe and die the death of an honorable sea. This instantized protein makes a great between-meal supplement, giving the shark the energy she needs to put on serious mass.
As a result of industrial pollution and sewage wastewater, Dead Horse Lake was designated a Superfund site in 1996. are often nicknamed cooters, but I refuse to be on familiar terms with any snake-faced mullet munchers. The ocean is home to more species than any other environment on Earth, all of which must eat to survive. The locals here know every nook and cranny of the swamp. The Fawtick Bayou area has lost 63 acres of marshland due to saltwater intrusion. Any panic from the shark's target could spell death.
Fish higher on the food chain are more mobile, able to traverse a variety of waters. Over the course of a bull shark's life, it will ingest quite a broad assortment of flotsam and jetsam. We appreciate the grant from Sunshine Solutions that made this show possible. We'd also like to remind viewers that mass cloning and gene editing for today's military is safer than ever. Artists spent 16 years building this sculpture out of trash pulled from the lake, only to have it thrown back in the lake by intoxicated locals. Quiet space is the ideal stage for the shark to meditate and harness her pure potentiality.
the hole near the retired nuclear cooling towers. This is a great opportunity for the shark to test the theory that exposure to gamma rays gives you superpowers. Some sharks are scavengers, indiscriminately consuming anything that's vaguely edible. The hungry predator finds the catfish crisp, juicy, and tender. Bull sharks have a habit of gobbling up anything that finds its way into the water.
Until local police departments settle a dispute over jurisdiction, these two remain a popular attraction for selfie-seeking snorkelers. Shark's propensity to clear the ocean of its assorted detritus is one of their most valuable functions. shark must so often meet as enemies.
A breeze would be nice. Could be looking right at me. Oh, it could be anywhere. Let's go to Flamingo Joe's. I'm all out of fireball. It seems Port Clovis has forgotten all about its rogue shark for now. knows how long a shark can live out of water. If this one doesn't return to the sea, she'll eventually find out. Regular day at Flamingo Joe's. People say it's a tourist trap. But it's the only place to get a decent Cesarec that don't have me on their do not serve list. This protein supplement has zero additives, so the shark doesn't have to worry about hidden artificial colors or flavors. Shark versus dolphin, orca versus giant squid, boat versus pylon. When establishing dominance, the contest is usually a deadly one, with survival as the prize. Threats to our ocean seem overwhelming, but by working together now, we can ensure that future generations always have a place to dump their old tires. 